A family of four adults and two children, including Katie, Luke, Chiago, Amy Lee, Sophie and Millie. Me and Katie are going away. It is our 10th wedding anniversary, so she found the expense on the credit card, but she doesn't have a clue where it's at. She didn't look into it. I mean, at least that's what she told me. And um, yeah, so we'll share that with you a little bit. place is amazing. The view from here is just insane. Brunswick heads down this way. We've got Cape Byron down that way. Like you can only just make it out, but at night you can see the, um, the lighthouse. There you go. What's Cape Byron known for? The lighthouse. <laughs> um, this is all from the magnesium pool behind me. So we're just about to go for a dip. So I thought I'd take a moment and chill out in the sauna. Katie's here with me, she's gonna jump in in a minute, but this is the infrared sauna, and then just outside is a magnesium pool, and um, it's not perfect weather for the pool, but we're gonna make the most of it. We came here, we're spending time here, so let's enjoy it. But um, I didn't really understand the concept of a magnesium pool, but essentially it's chlorine free, which I think is actually gonna be great for me, but it's meant to be good for your skin, so let's see how it goes. It's so cold. And that is why I'm not diving in. <laughs> This is our villa at Blackbird Luxury Accommodation. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things that we think are really awesome. So we absolutely love the bathroom. Obviously it's quite spectacular. The tiles are fantastic, brass fittings. It's just all really simple. The whole thing is more like a studio apartment so there's no kitchen or anything like that. It comes with um, <clears throat> a full set of Byron Bay amenities, which is fantastic. That's what we love about this place. They seem to have really used a lot of the uh, local products in in the room, which is great. So that helps you. Um, you can also purchase them, I believe. So. Um, um, I'm sure you can. Yeah. The, the the thing is, that's probably enough of the bathroom. But the local product sort of is a lovely segue to what comes in the amenities bar. So as far as local stuff is concerned, it's really cool that they have the Byron Bay um, shampoo, shower gel, that sort of thing. But they also actually make their own teas. So they have three flavors of tea. We've tried them all, which is fantastic. Uh, this one is a rose tea of some sort. This is a green chai, and this is just a black tea. But we've had some fun with the red one, it's fantastic. So the kitchen is, um, it's not really a kitchen, it's more a kind of just a little amenities bar, but they do have plates and bowls and cups and wine glasses. Um, so it's you set up for you to drink tea, drink coffee, probably have uh, wine and salami and that kind of thing. Yeah. Sorry, cheese is... It's got a bar fridge as well, so you can bring your cheeses and your... Uh, crackers and salamis and you know it's all here for you to store while you stay. I found you. <laughs> that was weird. What are you finding? I found you eating nuts. I don't even know what to say yes yeah, so I'm eating nuts I'm sorry. <laughs> So as you can see, Luke is taking full advantage of our sitting area. It's just so serene. It There's is. so much serenity. It's beautiful. 
You get to wake up in the morning to this amazing view. So amazing you step out here after a lot of rainfall and all you can hear is that waterfall up there. It's insane. There we are, right out there. That is Cape Byron. So at night time you can see the um, lighthouse do its thing. Okay, throughout the entire property, so every one of the pavilions and also I noticed them up at the, the I was going to say the banana shed. Ah. <laughs> Um, up at the, the, I keep referring it to, as the, to it as the communal pavilion. Maybe that's the yeah. best way to put it. Yeah. So up at the communal pavilion, um, are these blackbirds just located everywhere? Uh, they are a known as an Eames blackbird. So, so it's Eames a well-known designer. designer. Yeah. So they're Eames blackbirds, and the whole, um, the whole design is actually based around these guys. So the, each pavilion as well as the communal pavilion uh, features these guys, colors, shapes, everything is designed around them. So you can't forget you're at... Blackbird Luxury Accommodation. Woo! What a pitch, eh? What I a know, plug. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be surprised. It has been raining for our entire stay here. Uh, we did get carried away. We did chill out a little too long, so we haven't given you guys a really good idea of what's going on. We love this place. Okay, this place is amazing. Um, I've just been down at the magnesium pool in their little common food area where they do uh, degustation meals and all sorts of stuff. Breakfast is served there daily, it's so cool. European brass fittings in the bathroom and it took me a moment to work out what European brass fittings were, regardless of having Victoria explain it to us. Um, so basically the taps turn against each other, they turn away from each other and they only really turn a, a quarter of a spin. So um, I couldn't work out what was hot and cold. It took and a few adjustments <laughs> to get there, but we did. That's right, we, got we did. There. We did. Um, look, at the end of the day, the place is amazing. We'll take some footage of different bits and pieces, i.e. the tiles in the bathroom and the little sink area we have over here for us to wash our hands and brush our teeth, which they actually supply um, homemade charcoal toothpaste and two charcoal bamboo brushes, I'm um, sorry, bamboo toothbrushes, the, the charcoal infused heads on them, which is, I, I, I reckon that's really, really cool. It's just their nod to nature and trying to keep, take care of the environment while running a business. Which so. is something they've done really well they have, because yeah. they have upcycled so many well, that's of right. the fabrics um, that were already on the farm. So like as Luke said, they have um, redone the, the old banana house. So Which it was is actually, um, it's furnished with recycled furniture yeah. too. So yeah, they've, yeah so. they've definitely not gone out of their way and bought the the newest of the shiniest items. No, in, in saying that, there's some really classy touches to the entire property, yeah. but they have, um, yeah, they've recycled furniture and they've recycled- Special um, mention to the banana, uh, to the uh, day beds at the poolside. So they're made from old railway sleepers. Oh, there's old railway sleepers everywhere. It's cool. amazing. Yeah. And, and it's it's a very big nod to the, the local region as well, because we used to have the, um, the train. train, it used to run from Lismore up to uh, Moolumbah. Yes. Well, sorry, it went, went further than that. It went, went from to Sydney. Sydney. It went yeah. from Sydney to Moolumbah, but they dismantled the part that went from Casino to Moolumbah, I would say probably 15 years ago, and yeah. um, they've done nothing with it until recently. I assume all of the sleepers used here came from that location, so it's um, very, very cool. It's Yeah, it's a little bit of history, meeting some cool new stuff. 